Okay. So the solo leveling arise. Official live stream. Was it good or was it bad? Unfortunately, overall, it was bad. It got be a little bit better towards the end, but overall, the live stream was quite bad. The quality was bad. It only went up to 720p, but then it wasn't even actually 720 it was more like 360p. So the quality was bad, the audio was garbage, like the quality was bad and the audio was even worse. To be fair, the audio did get better towards the end, but overall the audio was garbage, like it was really bad. Like you can hear them, you can hear them twice, one person was louder than the other, like it just was not good. The bad, it was bad quality, bad audio, again it did get better towards the end in terms of audio, but the quality remained bad. The stream was not good, hopefully they learn from their mistakes, which I think they will. The only thing is though, considering this, the, the, the game is making so much money, you would think that they'd be able to afford like, a better live stream, but it is what it is. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes and the next time um, they make a much better live stream. We'll see what they do though, hopefully they will learn from their mistakes. To be fair though, to Netmarble and this whole solo leveling venture, they have been tr trying to improve at least in, in all things to be fair, so I will give them that. So I have no doubt that the next stream they do will be significantly better, although only time will tell. We'll see what happens. Now, as for some more criticisms for the live stream, like aside from the quality, I still wasn't a fan of the live stream. But even just based on the content, if you ignore the quality of the audio and everything else, just the content wasn't particularly a fan. Not revealing the kit of Maylene Fisher was a wasted opportunity, as a minimum they should have revealed her kit. That should have been the main thing about the live stream. There was a lot of fluff in it, like the interview they did, just a lot of fluff. I'm, I'm not there for the interview, I'm there to see the kit, and they didn't even show the kit. They just had a lot of, uh, they just had a lot of fluff, which I really wasn't re a fan of, if I'm being honest. It would be way, it would be significantly better if the streams were a lot shorter and more concise. Something like what Solo Level, um, sorry, something like what Dokkan does with the Dokkan Nows. To be fair, with Dokkan, the Dokkan Nows, if I'm not mistaken, are pre-recorded. But I think Solo Leveling Arise should probably do the same thing, like premiere it. But then, um, feel free to pre-record it. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like they should. I feel like it would be better. And, the, and then they would see how bad the quality is. And then they could just record it again if it's that bad. Which they, they, they should. Like if, it's as bad as, if it's as bad as this stream was, then they would need to redo it. But because it was live, like they've got no chance to redo it now. Um, they, should take, they should take notes from the Dokkan Now live streams because they are significantly better. The quality is higher, it looks better, the audio is better, the information given is better, just everything is better with the Dokkan Nows. So, so Solo Leveling should take notes from those. So, that, 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 there is no way around that. The Dokkan Nows are significantly better. No questions asked. Now they did give some free codes during the live streams, which I, I will show you guys in a second. They gave two brand new free codes, but unfortunately they did not, they did not give any essence stones. Which is obviously, excuse me, which is obviously not ideal. I wish they did give essence stones, but it is what it is. Um, we'll take whatever we can get at this point. Free stuff is free stuff. So we're not going to complain. Well, I am going to complain because I do want stones, but moving on. The codes are here. The new codes are Molly Maylin. So M O L L Y M E I L I N. That's one of the codes. And then the other codes, the other code is Sharp Stream. So S H A R P S T R E A M. Those are the new codes for the new free stuff. So make sure you get that done. You've got until I don't know how long you've got, but you've probably you've probably not got that long. So make sure you get that done ASAP. No questions asked. Now when it comes to the new artifact event, it looks like a more toxic version than Cerberus. And you guys know how I hate Cerberus. Cerberus is such a toxic fight. And this fight looks more, even more toxic than Cerberus. It's basically just Cerberus, Cerberus, but on steroids. Yay, I guess, is what I said. And to be fair, 
What I'm saying here is not really a criticism, it is merely an observation. It's more of a personal thing if it is a criticism. Like, the game shouldn't change um, what they're doing with this just because I want them to. Because realistically, like, it's not a bad thing. Because it is supposed to be end game, so I will give them that, if nothing else. Um, and we're going to end with this. I've discussed this in the past couple of videos, and we're going to discuss it again. Some of the units coming to this game, such as Silver Main, well, some of the units already in the game, I should say, such as Silver Main Beck, and then this guy over here, Lim, and then one more character, Choi, I think. Some of these characters, are, and, and Alicia, are basically about to get buffed. And when it comes to this unit specifically, he is already good, but he's about to get even stronger. All of the units I named are going to get stronger with the arrival of the upcoming Tusk Shadow. And the reason that is, is because the, the Tusk Shadow buffs your core your, your core attacks, which benefits the units that I named. Like Alicia, Silvermane, Beck, this guy, and then a couple others as well. And we're going to end with that. Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree that the solo leveling arrives official live stream was overall kind of bad, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta, adios and bye-bye.